John 14, verse 15 to 31. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will beg in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see, see me no more. But you will see me, because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in the, my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it, he it is who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by the Father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the world and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all the things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I be to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you love me, you would have rejoiced, because I am the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. So often we find ourselves striving and trying really hard to get things right, not feel stressed, be good. The list goes on and on. These things, though not inherently bad, were never meant to be done in our own strength. Jesus' death made a way for us to be given strength beyond ourselves. The Holy Spirit lives in us and can be a source of strength and peace for us, but only if we ask for it. The Spirit lives in us but it's up to us to pray and ask him to work in us. Just like Jesus doesn't force our belief in him, Holy Spirit doesn't force his involvement on us. It's important that we ask Holy Spirit to participate in, ours, in our lives. So let us ask for him that today. Holy Spirit, teach us what we need to know today. Give us strength to walk in wisdom and truth. Expand our capacity to love and continue to settle our hearts in peace. We love you. Amen.